One final video for today, while we're all still enjoying that epic trailer that Rockstar released for the upcoming Doomsday Heist. One thing I've been seeing a lot lately is people saying this is the final DLC for GTA Online. And I want to clear up this topic right now so I don't get this in the future and so people don't get confused. First off, this is not the final DLC for GTA Online. I just wanna get that out there right off the bat. The way I know that is because in an interview, one of the like head people from Rockstar, Imran Sarwar, he said that we don't have a fixed endpoint in mind for GTA Online, but the rollout of updates may change a little in order to encourage players to try Red Dead Redemption 2 when it launches. It would be great to have players splitting time between two incredible worlds, but we shall see how things evolve. So that's from Rockstar's mouth. They're saying things may change, may slow down, but it's not going to end. So for all the people out there who are being like those doomsday preppers and are freaking out, they're like, oh my God, there's not going to be any more GTA Online DLC. Don't worry. This DLC, however, yeah, it does look like it's, you know, something that would be the final DLC, right? We've always joked or speculated like, all right, if they're gonna do a final DLC, why don't they just add everything? And this DLC, it looks like they added everything. They had jetpacks, they had a giant submarines, you know, one final heist, obviously the DeLorean and a bunch of other crazy stuff. So I could understand you're seeing this and you know, the fact that Doomsday means the end. And I think even in the trailer, they said like the end or something. So yeah, it does make sense. If you look at it from that perspective, it could be, you know, them closing the chapter on GTA Online, but Considering how much money this game makes, they're not going to do that. Come on, be realistic here. If your game's making $300 million or whatever the crazy amount is from just microtransactions each year, you're not going to stop that until the next game comes out, until GTA 6 comes out. I mean, one of the reasons this DLC is as crazy as it is, is because of Christmas. I mean, come on, you watched that trailer, you probably thought, I don't care how much this stuff costs, I'm buying it. Which means you may end up buying a shark card. Which, by the way, G2A link in the description, shout out. But anyway, this is what Rockstar do. Every year, if you look at the December DLCs, they were always the biggest ones. And this is the biggest of them all. Now the question, since we know that there's going to be DLCs in the future, how do they top this? Like, what do they do next? And that that's a good question to bring up. An interesting little thing that FunMW2 actually tweeted earlier today was that two years ago he posted in the single player DLC thread that jetpacks are coming and Clifford, which he thought was a new city or town, is the new supercomputer name. So basically cut content, which was planned for single player, they are now using that for online. And some of the stuff he did mention in that post two years ago. He talks about the jetpack, and then he talks about the new city, Clifford, which we now know is the AI, or the, the supercomputer. He says there were 34 mission triggers, there was 12 assassination missions, 23 unknown missions. He says the assassination missions are the last missions you after you finished the unknown missions. So I guess for this DLC, you'd do the you know regular missions, and then for like end game sort of stuff, you'd have all these assassination missions. There was also a bunch of new scripts, and he goes on to say that... The single player DLC was supposed to be on the level of the Ballad of Gay Tony and the Lost and the Damned. And that's why they also added the Bahama Mama's interior. So that was two years ago. And how this relates to what we have now and why it's so interesting and how it ties into this video topic, there's a ton more cut content in the game for Rockstar to make DLCs on. And yes, the Hipster 2.0 or whatever you want to call it, that would include the nightclubs. That is still a possibility for the future. What Rockstar is now doing since GTA Online makes them way more money than single player, they are transferring all of their single player ideas now into online. And that's why we're now finally getting a uh, Easter egg answer to the Mount Chiliad mural. So apart from, you know, the Rockstar guy coming out and saying it's not going to end, that's why I think GTA Online is the DLCs aren't even close to ending. There's so much cut content and stuff they, they planned in the past for single player that they can now add and release into online. So anyway, I just wanted to clear that up because I've, I've seen so many comments. Oh, this is the last DLC. It's, it's, this is the end. What's next? Nothing. And no, 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 not GTA Online is not going anywhere. People have been saying that for the last seven updates. And until we get GTA 6, GTA Online is staying. So hopefully this cleared it up. I just, like I said, was tired of seeing that question. And I just wanted to 
put that as the final video today tomorrow i'll be doing a ton of other videos we'll be breaking down some more stuff going over some of those maps talking about how much these vehicles could cost because it's going to be a lot of money and more so hopefully you guys subscribe and check that out tomorrow like i said go on my twitter i'll be doing a shark card i'll be announcing that tomorrow so be on the lookout for that but thank you all and as always i'll see you guys in the next one